Hi fam! Hey guys, welcome back. I hate intros, so let's just keep this short and sweet, shall we? Agree. <laughs> so, we love our cocktails, but we also want to keep things as healthy as possible. So this is one of our very favorite cocktails. It's super clean, fresh ingredients. It's just so good too. Like yeah. we don't feel like we're compromising on anything. We love the taste. So we're gonna run you guys, like give you guys the rundown, right? Yeah, we've been making this for a few years. It's one of our favorite drinks. It always gets her a little tipsy, which you know, it's not a bad thing, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step on how to create this skinny, skinny, right? The healthiest version of a spicy margarita. Obviously using grapefruit. Yes, and if you're under 21, get the hell out of here. What are you doing here? And if you're over 21, drink responsibly. And let's get started. All right, so let's talk about the ingredients you're gonna need to create this skinny, spicy margarita. All right, first, make sure that you got a fresh grapefruit. What we've done here is I actually just juiced one um, and then strained it into this glass right here, just to make it easier. But make sure you've got a fresh grapefruit. You're gonna need a lime. Um, we like to use jalapeno. If you don't like the spice of jalapeno, you want something a little bit more mild, um, you know, you can choose the pepper of your choice, but this is the one that we like, or you can leave it out completely. And then we like to garnish with a strawberry at the end. Dan just gets fancy. Yeah, I do love being a little bougie. So. <laughs> um, and then as far as tequila goes, a nice silver tequila. If you do need a sweetener, I recommend honey or agave. Both work really well. We actually like ours unsweetened. Yeah. We're pretty boring that way, but if you do want a sweetener, honey, or agave, and all you need is, um, you know, just a, a, little, a bit. little bit of a squeeze. Yeah. You just, you know, do it to your taste. A little goes a long way. So, all right, let's show you how to make this. All right, make sure you got a, a shaker here. I've got about five ice cubes in here to begin with. All right, so now with our grapefruit juice, <laughs> grapefruit juice, with our grapefruit juice, we're gonna use three ounces. Perfect. Half of a lime. Just gonna juice that. And then the good stuff. It smells like home. Three ounces. Last step is gonna be the jalapeno. Cut toward the end if you can. There's not as many seeds out here. It'll make it so it's not gonna be as spicy. If you do get into the seeds, you can always take the seeds out. Let's go right in. All right, and we're gonna shake this until you can't hear the ice cubes anymore. There we go. So you can hear that that ice cube, now it sounds like a tic tac in there. That's where you want to be. Okay. Get yourself a nice glass of ice. Pop that open. All right, last steps is to garnish this. Use a little bit more jalapeno. Throw that guy in. Told you he's bougie. I know, we talked about it. So, get a little bougie here. Throw that in there too. Make it look pretty. You know, if you're gonna enjoy it, might as well look good. And there it is, check that out. Beautiful. All right, so as you can see, Tiff has already drank about half of hers and we've been filming for three minutes, so uh, I think she likes it. It's so easy, guys. It's super, super simple. 
fresh produce. Please don't use the fake stuff. It's full of sugar. It's crappy. It's not, that's, it's not going to taste the same. Yeah, you'll taste the difference if you use real fresh ingredients. That's right. Get yourself a nice little silver tequila. A shaker is all you need. A little bit of ice. And at the end of the day... Cheers! You got yourself a nice treat. So good. Delicious. You really don't need... A, like Because of the citrus in this, you don't need a sweetener. But... You know, for some reason, you need that extra sweet taste, a dash of agave or a little bit of honey. That's all you need before you shake it up, and then you're good to go. Again, if you don't like the spice, just leave out the jalapeno. You can do it that way. You can also cut up that strawberry beforehand and add that to your shaker and give it a nice little mix of a taste between the strawberry and the grapefruit. Got lots of options here, but this is our base. We love it. It's a go-to drink. We know you're going to love it. You got to try it out. You're so cute. Mm -hmm. And also, talking about shakers, we have an awesome video um, using the shaker too. If you like iced coffee, we'll add yeah. a link to that. You've got to check that out. The best at-home iced coffee that you're going to try. It's phenomenal. So. Thanks, babe. Anything else, babe? I would love another one. Well, the reality is she's going to be drinking mine, so we'll let you go. Drink responsibly. Cheers. Enjoy. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Mmm. Shit's good. Really good.